Hey what's up, I'm Adam with Aerial Motion Photography and in this video I'm going to be reviewing and testing out these aftermarket propellers from Master Air Screw. These are called their stealth propellers and they claim to be low noise, have better performance and better efficiency. So if that sounds interesting, let's get into it. To test out these propellers, I wanted to make it as fair as possible. So I used brand new propellers from DJI. I also used batteries charged up to 100%. I switched out the batteries at the same time and I really tried to do everything scientifically. All right, just launched and I'm flying out to the spot. I wanna do everything as similar as possible to make this test fair. Eight, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-six point one. That's with the Master Air Screw props, twenty-six point one. Now we have the DJI props on normal mode, forward. It's moving up there quick, twenty miles an hour already. Uh, a little turn, twenty-six. Back down to 25, 26.0. So that is 0.1 of a second slower than the master air screw props. Now let's test these in reverse. So this is the master air screw in reverse. Climbs up there fast, 26.6, 26.8, miles an hour in reverse. Okay, I'm flying to get set up for this reverse run. This is with the normal propellers. Ready, set, go. These drones fly reverse very quickly. 25.9, 26 26.5, 26.6, 26 26.9 miles an hour which is the same exact speed as the master airscrew props. This has me really begging the question, do these drones have a governor on them? Is there a reason why they're doing exactly the same speed? Even if there was a governor on these drones, you would think when you're using the high performance props that it would get to that top speed quicker. 
but it is mind blowing that it's the exact same speed at almost the exact same time for every single one of these tests so far. Let's get to the final results. So we have the master air screw on the left, DJI stock props on the right. We have a tie across the board in sports mode, 42.7 miles an hour at 39 seconds. And then in normal mode going forward, it's almost exactly the same. The master air screw is 0.1 of a mile an hour quicker. And then the normal reverse, exactly the same, 26.9 miles an hour. If I didn't do this test myself, I would be shocked at these results. Okay, so let's start off this hovering test. These have to be one of the most boring tests to produce, but it's always really cool to know the results. I know I made a video in the past and I put failed, battery test failed. It wasn't because the battery failed, it's because me as a drone pilot, I failed because it was so freaking boring to hover these drones that I had to just stop the test. But this test, I continued it all the way through. I started both of them at 100% and I ran them down to 30%. With the propellers from DJI, we got 20 minutes and 20 seconds. With the propellers from Master Air Screw, we got 21 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's a whole extra one minute and 10 seconds with the upgraded propellers. Something strange happened when doing the hover tests with the Master Air Screws. When it was just flying, just out of nowhere, the drone just took off. Not like took off, but it went up like kind of fast and went up about 15 to 20 feet just randomly without me pushing the sticks up or anything. And that was a little bit of shocking and scary. I'm not sure if it's a glitch on the drone or maybe these propellers gave it like too much juice or something, but that only happened one time and that was just really strange, but it kind of gave me like an uneasy feeling when using these propellers. Okay, so let's do the sound test. This first one is going to be without the propellers, and then the next one is with the master air screw propellers. So can you hear the difference? It sounds like the master air screw ones are a little bit quieter and it is a lower tone, which means it's gonna be less annoying to the ears. After testing out these propellers, what is my takeaway? And first thing, they did decrease the noise and that was the main reason why I got these propellers because anytime you can make your drone more quiet, that's very beneficial. It can bother other people less it can cause less attention and like who wants to have a noisy drone. So it's cool if you could put propellers on and can cut down on the noise. Just a fun side note, when I had the Phantom 4 Pro, you could buy these stealth propellers. I think they're stealth from DJI and they did decrease the noise. So that was something that I was expecting and that's something that these came through with. When it comes to the increased performance, I was disappointed in these propellers. I really didn't notice an increase on the top end speed. I didn't feel like the drone could accelerate faster. And I thought for sure with these pointy tips and the flexible things, like I thought for sure it'd be super noticeable. So I'm disappointed that I did not find the performance to be much better or at all than these propellers. So let's get to the next thing, efficiency. Very happy that it was more efficient. So doing the hover test, it added over a minute to the hovering. So I think anytime you can save battery, that is awesome. To piggyback off that hovering test where the drone kind of took off on its own, I've seen videos and also read comments on Master Air Screw's Instagram page. And what I noticed is people have been saying, especially this orange color, some of them are unbalanced and that maybe there's a bad batch of them. And maybe that's kind of what contributed to when the drone took off on its own. I'm not really sure. I want to look into that a little bit more. I know for peace of mind, I don't need anything to make my drone unstable or to cause any more like percentage of a chance of crashing. So I do like the orange color. 
it kind of gives it more of like a kid vibe to it, I would say. So it might not be the most professional looking drone anymore with all these like stickers and propellers. Anytime you could add visibility to your drone, that that's awesome. And if you crash your drone and you're trying to search for it, if you ever lost your drone, crashed it into a tree or anything like that, you'll know how hard these things are to find. And one of my New Year's resolutions was to not lose any drones this year. To wrap up my final thoughts, comparing these two propellers, I was not blown away by the performance. And I love accessories and I love tinkering with things to make things go faster, or fly farther, and things like that. So I'm all about accessories. After testing these propellers and going through the pros and the cons, I found out that on a scale of was I impressed or not impressed, I am not impressed, but that doesn't mean I don't want to use them. I was happy to reduce the sound. So that's the main reason why I got that, to reduce the sound and for the color. And for performance and efficiency, that was kind of a bonus in my mind, if it can do that. So I didn't really notice the performance part, but I did notice it added about an extra minute, which is awesome. So would I recommend these propellers? And that's really hard for me to say because I've had the little bit of the issues and I'm not sure if it's a bad batch, but I think if you're just looking for the low noise, like what I was, that they are beneficial. And I think that that's worth the price. They are premium, they're about 30 bucks, so it's not cheap but you get the color, you get the efficiency, and the low noise. To me, that's a win-win. And that's gonna wrap up this video. If you found it entertaining or educational, give it a big thumbs up, that means a lot to me. Subscribe down below if you wanna see more videos like these, and then check the notifications so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. As always, my name's Adam. Fly safe, take care, 